Hi guys, this is Rachel, otherwise known as our print key around the site. I'm going to show you how to get through a couple of challenging things when it comes to iWire and make your time here a little easier and more fun. So here's something that a lot of people have been having trouble with. It is a blob-like <laughs> thing that has a couple of little outcroppings on it. These are really common in the starburst amacrin cells. Um, and the thing you have to remember about these is, even though it looks like it might end, most of these actually continue on. Uh, so they'll have two or three nubs that end and then one that continues on is the thing that you want to look for in here. And they also tend to have very kind of shadowy faint boundaries which make it a little bit more difficult. So let's start and show you how to do that. So we're starting right here with the plane, which is here, and let's scroll through and up. Okay, so it's getting very faint right here, and we see the point of this right here appearing in our 2D. And here they are converging. Okay, and so we're going to fill in this. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that the side of this, the outside, should look fairly smooth. And so if it's kind of jagged the way it looks now, that usually means there are little bits of pieces missing. So we're going to fill this in so it looks better. And you may notice that right here the line is just getting fainter and fainter and fainter. And so I'm going to fill that in right there. But um, something to keep in mind when the line gets faint is you can always pick up the thing. But if you look at it, you can see that even though the line right here is really faint, this is clearly something else that doesn't belong right here. It doesn't fit with the shape we were working on, and it seems to be kind of going in parallel with it. So that's a really good indicator that this is not something that we want. So let's deselect that now and continue scrolling. So now we're going to see which one of these two points continues on. Okay, so see this one? Now I know that line kind of looks like a line that's shadowy and faint, but again we're going to pick it up and take a look in the 3D. And you can see that it continues on right here, and that looks like a really nice smooth continuation. Okay, and that continues on a little bit more. And what we're doing right now more than anything is we're sort of following the shape, the oval shape right here. We have taken that as far as it can go, we've hit the edge, we've found the continuation. Good job.